find out about Seattle Tree Care? Uh, well, I came here, I couldn't work for eight months waiting, waiting for my work permit. Then um, I broke my ankle and then I got my work permit. So I was sitting on my butt for a year and I was like, man, I need something active to do. And I was looking on Craigslist and I saw the Tree Care. I was like, ah, I I've used chainsaw before, I know how to work with trees, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, and I emailed Kelsey and came for an interview. I think I did pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> I'd say so. Where are all those silver maples? Those are white poplar. White poplar? Populus alba. Oh man, this is playing a dangerous game. And that apple is the first tree I've ever done on my own harness. This one right here on the corner. It's pretty tall. Yeah, it is. We reduced the height, bunch of shoots there. I was on my harness for six hours. That tree looks great too, so you must have did a good job. I'm not gonna be able to back in there from here. I'm gonna go turn around. Hey, what's up guys? Hey, hey. If you guys don't mind, we're gonna do a little chip in. Because one of my outriggers is right where all the brush is. Perfect. Look at that. You can see where the monster section of the tree, not just a, a branch or anything like that, but this is actually a third of the tree. It fell over, came through the roof of this neighboring uh, condominium. It's going to be our job to clean this up and then safely remove the rest of the tree.
with these smaller sizes. We kind of alternate them, send them one way, then send them the other. This is done is just so you're not pushing on the ground and the, the, uh, the weight load is distributed a little more evenly. And to make the, the pressure points a little bit bigger, a bigger surface. So these are really cool. They got an angle to them. So look how steep that driveway is. And that'll just uh, take that, take that right out. It was like two nights ago, we got a call that this entire section of the tree fell on this house over here. They were there, they were sleeping. One of the large branches went right through the, the roof, then through the sheetrock, narrowly missing the mother-in-law. Pretty sketchy, yeah, right? And I mean, look at the size of that thing. I mean, it's... it's it is big, yeah. Yeah, it's not, yeah, not small. And, uh, but it's a good reminder of how much weight and the size of the pieces we're going to be dealing with up there. We've got this really close apartment building. We've got this uh, electric meter there. And then also there's a three stack of them right there. And there's actually, you can't tell, but there's a big log in there. We took our time getting the crane set up. I, I think we should just take our time with these picks. Moy, if you have a, an extra like sling, what can be really helpful on these unions is you tether the 500 to like a 10 foot rope or a 5 I leave foot it rope there. and just leave it there. And then you can climb up and down, up and down. A lot of these are just, they're one pick. Uh, so I would like to get the, that one out of the way and then start on this side actually. Great idea. Because those are more horizontal. I think they're gonna be a little bit more tricky. You don't think any of these are gonna be in the way? We, that's what we, he's saying, clear this first. Oh, yeah, this side. one and these two oh, okay. probably. Right on. This has got to be the biggest willow we've ever uh, taken out or even uh, worked on. Sad to see it go, but it's definitely the safe thing to do. But this is going to be a long one. Let's get some water, make sure everybody's, uh, you know. I was going to grub up a bunch of Gatorade. So, let's do it. Okay. 
Ah, it should be fine. I have to move to my Italian when while you guys deal with this pig. So, oh, we're gonna deal with it. So I was thinking, Peter, maybe like here. Yeah, that's perfect. Both of them. I would just grab this one. This one is small enough. It's not gonna go anywhere. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Both both chains. Oh, both chains on this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now it looks like I do. I have to cable up to get the chains to you. Uh, yeah, but I have to. Let me try. Because you you'll stay on the ball. Yeah, let me pull, pull my line on, and and I'll be able to adjust my line. Great. All right. Yeah, you can cable up a little bit. Okay. Right, not so much. Hold on. Let me make sure the the chain is first. We are not enough. Oh, you can actually grab me. Chain is probably on the top side of the branch. It doesn't do weird things. So the wind is gonna be fun. All right, maybe give me a little bit of pressure here. All right, that looks solid. I think it's 100 years old. I don't even think it's 100 years old. It's a willow, they grow so fast. Well, there's a lot of water on this hill that would have helped it out. It's just a historic neighborhood and it's a fatty. Wonder how many people have pruned it. Oh, no. Not enough. <laughs> Man, you're gonna need a jacket. Look at that crotch where Moy's at. All right, I'm gonna put the first cut. All right, ready when you are. Zone is in between the crane and the and the chipper pretty much. What was that? Uh, can we put the winch on yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Got those windows on that place. You could, yeah, start winching in. Nice. It'll get better as we clear it out. And then also, like that, whatever the winch line is, maybe we even double wrap just so we. Yeah, I'll just think I. Next time, just so we don't have any chance. Are you gonna change on a stick and just chop some of these branches off? Well, if I come down lower, won't won't that isn't it helping? Yeah, it's just the uh, the branch on the other side of the fence. I mean, honestly.
honestly, I think I could just lay it on right now. They start shoving some of these brakes on the Sure, yeah, 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 yeah. gonna get worse as we uh, remove the protection from the other branch. The coon's bathroom here. Ooh, yeah, try to stay out of that. So we want to rotate away from the apartment building. Where do you want to rotate it? Yeah, yep, yep. That just like that, just like that. And then maybe uh, we'll get the rope on it. I'm going to cut that nugget off up there too. Nice and easy. Feed rollers are going. Yeah, I saw it growing on it. Yeah, like it was, I, I could see it when it was on the tree. It's like a like a bird's mouth calling for food and uh, you start putting the cut on the heavy side you saw the branch was leaning that way so we cut on the heavy side so my chainsaw doesn't get pinched when I'm finishing the cut and then you come on the other side and you have to make sure the cuts overlap here and here so it's gonna actually come loose so when I finish the cut the branch is gonna stay there the butt of the branch stays there uh, so it is a little bit safer for me so I can get into a safer position and uh, it's also easier for the crane because let's say we put we didn't put enough uh, tension on the lines it can rest here it's not gonna pinch my saw and then we can just lift it up and get it out of here oh.
8,500. Wow. Hang in there, boy. I'm coming. No worries. Man, I'm so grateful we're actually filming this thing. This is a one of a kind. Oh. I was thinking chance here. Yep, both of them right there. That worked out really well. Yeah, something that I didn't expect. I didn't want it to do that, but I knew it would do that. That's why I'm out here behind this uh, this branch, and I had to put the car on a really weird angle there. But, but I knew the weight was on that side, which is not easy when you're like out there on the tips. You're flying it all the way back there, and it is windy, so the wind is gonna move the branch you're on a certain way and it's gonna move your tying a different way so you might be like doing this and uh, it's really hard to keep your balance out there okay now this thing is just kinked man I don't know how we're we doing this one yeah <laughs> put it in the chipper What is that? Yeah, hydraulic oil or something. 